cropping three of the four judged categories last evening, Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines Deontay Mayors secured the title of Miss Carival 2015. In taking the title, in taking the title of the 30th Miss Carival pageant, Mayors was adjudged to have to have had the best evening wear, best talent, and best swimwear. She also secured the Miss Photogenic Award. Here's an excerpt from her performance last night. Her gown was intentionally long-sleeved, as both the peplum and sleeves symbolize the continuity of water, as it will forever connect us to our ancestors and our exiled people. Taking the second spot was Miss Dominica Odessa Eli, who was also judged to have the best interview. Miss Barbados Heidi Barrow was second runner-up and also took the Miss Congeniality Award. The Most Community Spirit Award, Spirit Award went to Miss Guyana Alicia Bess. And in just under two hours, a total of 14 Power Soka and 9 Rather Soka finalists will attempt to dethrone the reigning double monarch, the Fireman, at the 2015 staging of the Soka Monarch competition. The event is scheduled to commence at 9 p.m. at Carnival City Victoria Park with the Raga Soka competition. The finalists in that are Mad Skull, James E.P., Fet King Madzart, Chanel McKenzie, Hans, Scorpion, The Problem Child, Hyper 4000, and Skinny Fabulous. While in the power competition, the contenders are Royal, Mad Skull, Dr. P, Keith Currency, Fet King Madzart, Problem Child, Six Crazy, Hans, Chanel, Allergy, Whiskid, Hyper 4000, Skinny Fabulous, and Luta making a return after more than 10 years' absence. Meanwhile, SVG TV took to the streets of Capital City, Kingstown yesterday to get a feel of, how, of who persons think would be crowned Soka Monarch, Rama Soka Monarch, and Calypso King or Queen. Among the favorites for the Soka co competitions for Vincentians are Skinny Fabulous, Defending Champion, The Fireman, and The Problem Child, while some say it's time for the younger artists to have the crown. Here's more. Fire. And Calypso? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe so far. It's, uh, it's hard, yeah. Okay. Who do you think is going to be so far? Fireman. And rather so far? Fireman. Or what Calypso? Uh, I don't know, because I didn't listen to any of the Calypsos. Okay. <laughs> well, so common act is a sticky, sticky, sticky one. Well, I think the younger artists will take over this so common act this year, 2015. Well, I can't say, I, I, trust me, I can't say, um, problem child at all. I can't say problem child because, you know, she ain't probably nothing good this year, but the young artists coming right now will take over siblings right now, right? That. Who you think is going to win so come on out? Skinny, skinny, I'm a skinny fan. And you have a super? Well, Scorpion though, everybody say Fireman though, Scorpion. Who you think is going to come on out this year? I don't know the fireman as usual. And we have a sofa? As well, we're going to take it out again. How about Calypso? I'm not too sure about that. Everything on fire. Except for road match, road match, I don't think. You're right. Calypso, that's what people think, they're young people. Yeah, yeah. Don't beat up. Okay, well, are you a fan of Carnival? Come on. Yeah, come on. Um, who do you think is going to win? So come on. Fireman? No, 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 no. Fireman. We don't really rate the big artists and them like Fireman and Skinny and problem on them. Me am a royal fan. You understand? Because the young people tell them no, you know, miss. Never let them know. Dust it up. No, not for dust. I'm not too sure about that. Skinny got a good tune. Everybody got a good tune. That left will be seen. Yeah. And what's about talent? You know, nobody has to miss. Well, it's between fireman and, um, what do you call it? Skinny. And what's about that was so far? I'm looking at problem, child. It's a tight competition this year, I can't call that one. What's yeah. about Soka? Yeah, that one same thing. It's a good it's a good year for soccer music, man. You know, they, they everyone has stepped up. Um Mad Skull. Yeah, you know. 
But I do have my advice, you know, because it's time enough for fireman and skinny, you know. Give somebody a chance now, you know. Like your young artists and they will get something right now, man. Everybody will eat the food. See? Vincentians are being urged to become more familiar and informed on international issues, particularly human trafficking. This advice comes from Station Sergeant Junior Simmons of the Anti-Human Trafficking Department within the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force. Simmons says that human trafficking is a serious issue that not only threatens economies, but also families, and therefore, proper education can help to ensure that this country does not, have, does not become a haven for criminals involved in the practice. Now, human trafficking is also known as trafficking persons or more than slavery. It's a situation where human beings are bought and sold by other human beings for money and they are, they are placed in very dangerous and inhumane conditions to work as slaves. Uh, when, you're human, when you're a victim of human trafficking, you're basically a slave. You don't have any freedom. The human traffickers, they would force you to do all sorts of illegal um, acts. For example, prostitution, you know, forced prostitution, that's a, a form of human trafficking, or to forced labor, domestic servitude. Now, human trafficking is a very profitable criminal network. As a matter of fact, um, it is the second most lucrative criminal network, second only to food drug trafficking, where the human traffickers, they make a lot of money by exploiting their victims. Simmons further says that the police force is doing all in its power to prevent this trade from becoming a major part of SVG. He urges anyone with information on suspicious cases to report it to the police for investigation. It's a crime that exists globally and we are doing all that we can, you know, in Simmons and Grindings, the anti-trafficking policy units, we are doing all we can to censor the public so that they will know what to do to prevent themselves from becoming victims of human trafficking. And if they, if they know of anyone who may be a victim of trafficking, call us. We are located at the Peters Police Station and can call us at telephone number 4561750 or 4571211. Or you can email us at svgantitraffickingunits at gmail.com.